Hello brothers and sisters. I wanted to make a quick video on a topic that the Holy Spirit put on my mind uh, very strongly yesterday. Uh, it's very easy when you are following end time prophecy and the Lord is teaching you things from his word or his spirit is revealing things to you. It's very easy to feel that you're in the minority. I've had a lot of you write me emails and tell me, please pray for me. I feel like I'm being persecuted by my own family, uh, by church members. Um, believe it or not, just because a, a doctrine or a teaching is in the majority does not make it right. Uh, stand firm on what the Holy Spirit has revealed to you about these last days. Stand firm on your conviction. And I don't say stand firm on the teachings of men. I'm saying if you know that the Holy Spirit has revealed something to you personally, and he's confirmed it to you in your spirit, you hold on to that. Hold on to what you are given. Even if others tell you you're crazy, you are in the minority, uh, preachers and pulpits aren't preaching this, where are you getting this from? Do you know that you will reach a point in your maturity with Jesus where he will pull you away gradually from the doctrines of men? And what you are indoctrinated with most of your life, you'll begin to see the Holy Spirit pull you away from that gradually, little by little. And you're going to be amazed as that happens. And you'll say to yourself, I was taught this my whole life, and now the Lord showed me this. I know the Lord has done that with me on many different topics. For most of my life, I was looking for a Muslim antichrist. I was looking for a, a pre-trib rapture or gathering together with the Lord in the air. Uh, many, many, many other things that the Lord has taken me away from the doctrines of men. I'm not saying that people preaching these things are deliberately trying to deceive the masses. But please let the Holy Spirit be your ultimate teacher. We can encourage one another, learn from one another. We're all at different paces at our maturity according to Christ's sovereign plan and choice. But if you know God has given you something about these last days and he's revealed to you who the Vatican is, what, who the real Antichrist is, which is the revealing of the man of sin, which I believe to be the papacy in Rome, uh, if the Lord has shown you from his word the timing of our gathering together with him in the air, and it goes against the majority, you stand with the Lord in what he has shown you. And I felt the Lord strongly laying on my heart yesterday to make a video about this. Uh, I myself am in the minority. Uh, you know, I, most of the people that I know and love are pre-trib or believe in a Muslim antichrist. And, you know, I firmly believe that the papacy is antichrist, that they are the fulfillment. The dynasty of the papacy is the fulfillment of Daniel and Revelation of the man of sin revealed. And the Lord has also shown me from his word, and I can't prove this to you, that we will not be gathered together to the Lord until after the tribulation of those days, according to Matthew 24, not before the tribulation of those days. But can I prove that to the majority? No, I can't. I have to stand firm in my conviction and what I know the Holy Spirit has confirmed to me. So this is just an encouragement video for you that if you feel like you're alone, uh, even those you love and care about seem to be misunderstanding you or maybe even persecute you from time to time or say that you're out there because you don't go along with the mainstream doctrines of what the church is teaching. You hold on to what Jesus has told you, because I myself can identify with that. You hold on to what he's given you, and don't worry about that. So hopefully this is encouraging someone. Uh, God bless you today.